In this video, I'll show you how you can use multiple expression commands to do more complex calculation in Adobe Captivate. Okay, so I saw this post um, in the comments of one of my videos on the Adobe eLearning Community website. And AMYGT wrote, can you make a calculation in Captivate, such as a calculator that could calculate the time we all spend in meetings, average salary per participants, amount of participants, and the amount of time they spend in meetings. So here's what I've done. I've created this simple project here as an example of how you can use multiple expression commands to do some more complex calculations. So uh, the expression command allows you to do, um, to add two items together, to subtract one item from another, to multiply two items or divide two items. And if you go back to your elementary school teaching, you'd learn that of course, some of the more complex calculations are just multiples of those simple expressions. So we can do the same thing here. So what I've set up is the uh, some text entry boxes. Uh, I've turned off the submit button for each of them and there's no action associated with them. All that's gonna happen with each of these text entry boxes is that it's gonna store whatever the user types in those boxes in the appropriate variable. Uh, you could create your own variables if you wish, but I'm just gonna use the defaults for right now. So text entry box one, two, three, and so on. And then the next button simply takes you to the next slide. Uh, in this case here, we have uh, this simple uh, statement here, and I've inserted a variable that I've already created called average age. So how do I create that calculation? Well, let's first of all do this as an on enter uh, advanced action. So we'll execute advanced actions on entry of the slide. We'll click on the advanced action icon, which will bring up the advanced action window. And what we'll do is uh, give this uh, advanced action a name. It's gonna be called calculate underscore age. And the first thing we need to do is we need to add up all of those text entry box totals. So they're being stored in those variables that I've already mentioned. And what we'll do is we'll use the expression command. And I'm going to use a variable called total age to calculate that total value. Now, the problem right off the bat is that you can add two variables together, but you can't add five. So we're going to have to do this in a couple of steps. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the variable for text entry box one plus text entry box two. So that's going to be uh, the value of the first two entries will get put into my variable called total age. All I need to do at this point is add some additional expression commands that will add the remaining text entry box values to total age. So in this case here, we're going to uh, type in total age equals, and we can use that same variable again, total age plus text entry box three. And in fact, I can save some time by copying this and pasting it in twice, because all I need to do is change that last bit to include text entry box four and text entry box five. So now total age, by the time we get to this line here, total age is all of their ages added together. So we need one more expression. In this case, now we're gonna use the variable average age equals the variable total age divided by the literal value of five. And that's basically it. So now we can average things out and you can do this with other types of calculations as well, as long as all of those calculations involve 
simple ar arithmetic like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So I'm going to save this as an action. We'll click OK, click Close, and we're going to run Calculate Age when we arrive on this third slide. So let's preview this project and see how it works. So calculate the average age of five people. We'll click Next. Let's say age of person one is 20, person two is 22, person three is 51, like I am, uh, person four is 45, and person five is 100 years old. So if I click Next, the average age of the five people is 47.6. So there you go. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.